Hey kids, got back from seeing Godzilla Minus One, uh, essentially a reboot, uh, kind of a remake of the original movie, but with a completely different story, different characters, uh, and a different way that they uh, come up with uh, dealing with the big G. Uh, this is heavy on drama. Uh, hopefully this won't turn people away from it because uh, the storyline is great. Uh, the characters are great. Uh, this is set at the end of, you know, it starts at the end of World War II. Uh, we have a, uh, a pilot who was uh, meant to be a com kamikaze pilot but he obviously didn't want to ram his uh plane into anything and die uh so he comes up with a uh, uh excuse that his plane isn't working uh well enough so it goes on this island, which is for repairs. Uh, I do have to note that I will not be dealing with names of any kind. I'm not good with the pronunciation with uh, Japanese and many other nationalities, Italian, uh, Spanish, whatever. Uh, while, while on the island... Uh, his cowardice uh, uh, manifests itself again when a local menace named Godzilla or Gojira, probably <laughs> is the uh, proper pronunciation, uh, comes you know rampaging through their camp, you know the mechanics camp, and uh, they want him. The, the pilot to go to his plane and use the gun on the Godzilla. Now, Godzilla's not the size that we're used to. Uh, he's more proportioned to a maybe T-Rex, maybe a little bit larger. Well, the pilot go, goes to the plane, and he freaks out, and he... He freezes. Uh, that this ends up, it you never know if this was going to work in the first place, but uh, this ends up uh, possibly not preventing everybody's dying. There's uh, the pilot and one other guy who uh, makes it out alive, and uh, obviously it's like. Dude, <laughs> you you could have possibly prevented this, but you didn't. Uh, the pilot goes home, and uh, he finds that his uh, house is demolished. He does rebuild. Uh, it's, it's his family home, and his parents are uh, are dead. Uh, there's a woman, a neighbor. Uh, she ends up blaming him, him being a kamikaze pilot. Uh, could and maybe he, you know, he could have uh, prevented him and other kamikaze pilots who chickened out could have uh, prevented the damage that was done. Her uh, family uh, ends up being uh, killed in the in the fighting. Uh, the pilot also comes upon this young woman with a child, uh, a baby. It's not hers. So her family's gone. The baby's family's gone. His family's gone. And the old lady's family's gone. Or the woman's family she's older an older woman not really old uh 
and they become kind of a family unit, uh, even though he denies wanting to be in a family, you ended up having you know, him, mother, father, and a kind of a grandparent stand-in. They're all stand-ins. <laughs> uh, there's an attack by Godzilla. Uh, well, what ends up happening is... Uh, there is a, a nuclear test. We're not told, you know, explicitly that this is a, te a nuclear test that causes the Godzilla creature to enlarge, enlarge him. But we, you know, we we know the past of a, a Godzilla and, and such anyway. So, it, you know, you put two and two together and you realize <laughs> that this is the reason why he... Uh, Went from T Rex to, uh, I think it, his size is about the size of the the original Godzilla. Not as huge as uh, we're used to in later movies and such. Uh, but there's an uh, what ends up having happening to do. <laughs> he gets a job. Uh, it's on a wooden boat to uh, find mines that are in, in, you know, surrounding the area in the ocean, both both sides, you know, Japanese and the uh, probably Americans had uh, put these out. So uh, they're snipping uh, the uh, uh, chains that you know, hold them down and they come up and then they shoot them. Uh, usually there's ends up being two uh, uh, mines on the boat when Godzilla decides to pop up. And uh, they try to use the, uh, the mines on, on, uh, on him, including one in the mouth. And uh, they end up discovering he, his uh, healing properties are accelerated to an exaggerated rate at a uh, 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 point. And uh, eventually, uh, the mother figure, the, the, the woman, the young woman with the baby... Uh, she gets lost in a, an attack on a, on the town on a town and uh, it, of course this puts him in a rage you know all this time he you know He's screwing around when, you know, not wanting a family, you know, not, you know, being seen as a father and a such. And now, you know, she's gone and he has the baby to think about. Uh, Godzilla essentially is a uh, metaphor for, you know, not being able to exercise yourself from you know the war in this case the the war uh he's still fighting the war uh in his head and Godzilla is you know a stand in for that that type of uh, feeling and rage and such and uh he eventually has to build up enough courage to help uh, defeat uh, Godzilla. That's essentially the movie. It's heavy on the drama. All the characters are really well written and well formed, well acted. None of this is boring. Uh, this is one of the things uh, that's true about a lot of Godzilla movies is that the middle parts between the good stuff aren't that interesting. You know, so, you know this happens a lot in these movies uh 
and especially since this is essentially a remake of the first movie or a reboot uh it was a good idea to uh, really go into character and uh, make you like these uh, people and want to see them you know survive this situation and succeed uh, I really love this. This possibly could be the best uh, one of these since the first Gojira, the Japanese cut. Uh, very interesting conclusion and <laughs> nice little uh, twist at the end. Thankfully, they didn't use it as a post-credit thing. Uh, Yes, highly uh, recommend it. I, you know, it's great seeing it on the big screen. Godzilla minus one. Uh, very surprised that they released this, and it's going to be pretty widely released. But it's subtitled, uh, and apparently, probably no dubbed versions are out there. Uh, but if you can see it on the big screen. Uh, yesterday was uh, IMAX uh, uh, presentations, and uh, today started the regular, no no IMAX uh, uh, at the theater I I, I went to uh, for the rest of the run, and I I highly suggest see this in the movie theater. Well, until next time, stay safe. Knows have a good time. Bye now.